Yo guys, it's Keralis and welcome back everybody to the Minecraft Inspiration series with me, Keralis of course. Today we got a beautiful place. It's a house, it's on a beach, it's modern, let's call it a modern beach house. This house got some awesome features so hopefully you guys will get some inspiration and as always IP, not like IP in a toilet pee because that's you gotta say like <laughs> who is that IP? Internet protocol alright? is in the description and so is the coordinates to this place if you want to come on the server get some more inspiration count some blocks please feel free to do so and don't forget to leave some nice feedback in the comment section to the person who made this all right but let's check it out and for those guys who've been watching the inspiration series you might remember this place absolutely beautiful but this got a new neighbor and that is what we're gonna check out look at this everybody look how the shapes flow here with the windows beautiful both here and up here inspiration inspiration but i've seen a sign i saw the sign and it opened up my eyes i saw the sign it is made by mies vdr from up i'm gonna hug the sign mies buddy this is a fantastic looking place there's so much inspiration so much creativity and this whole area is filled with beautiful places everybody so don't be poo poos. Get on the server and get that inspiration flowing. Don't build dirt houses. It sucks. It's so yesterday, right? But we're gonna take a spin on the outside in a later stage. But let's check out what Mies built on the inside. Oh, no way. We got one of those, what you gonna call them? Indoor conservatory? No, I don't know. But this little green garden thing. Just for inspiration. I mean, how beautiful isn't that looking? Especially using the shaders models I'm doing here. It's beautiful! Yes, buddy, well done on that department. Here we got a garage entrance. And uh, you know what? Mies might be a car builder. So he's kind of like, you know, he's building cars at this point. He's in his house, alright? So don't judge it. We got that at least. In here we got what? Central heating. Oh, like a little utility room, I guess. What is you? Why you have a message table? Oh. Or maybe it's a toilet for all those big butts out there. Huh, I don't know. And you are... Oh! Oh, oh, it's a washing machine over there. So this got to be like an ironing board, right? So we can like, iron your clothes. <laughs> Nailed it! That's awesome. But look at this. I mean, this has a no function whatsoever in Minecraft. But it does so much. Central heating, west wing. Central heating, first floor. Central heating, east wing. Hug you inspiration. So simple, it looks absolutely amazing. Everybody, and I think the little things go even up. Yeah, it does. It goes up on the roofing. Just for inspiration, everybody. So let's continue. Where do we want to start? In here? It's a bedroom. And it's, you know what? It is a bit of shame that I'm using, using shaders mod. Especially the Zeus shaders. Uh, I don't know if every shader behaves the same. But when you have like stained window penises or stained glass it doesn't really let any light through because of the coating i guess at this point but just imagine this with like clear glass the sun hitting the walls it's gonna look amazing you know what this is a screenshot moment it's so clean and it's so nice bed design you know what i'm just gonna spend some little time here right it's awesome first we got wool flooring which is kind of like kind of cozy for your feet as you can see here like my feet is here it's very very cozy when i walk perfect we got a little carpet design here just in front of the bed which is kind of like you know it's kind of it's kind of like just frames it nicely then we got the bed which is made out of snow caps and then we got a little pillar here which is kind of not, not going all the way because it adds more this way i love it i love it let's continue what do we got the next room is over here and you are what you know what? I like that glass feature on the inside. Because now every room's got some lighting from that. Or even though, like, maybe not every room, but the indoor places, you know what? They, the light just spreads in this house. Fantastic. And this is Minecraft, so it's mind blown. It is a bathroom for your imaginary poop needs. Rainforest shower, I think it's called. Which you just stand here and it's like water all over the place. That's really neat looking. We got a little poopy toilet chair over here. And then double sinks. Very simple, yet functional design. The mirror in the back, we got two taps. Perfect. So that is that. And <laughs> just look at this. Imagine having a place like this in real life. 
maybe one day. No, that's not gonna happen. Those plays are dang expensive. Dang expensive. But let's just continue. Here, we walk in and we got a balcony. Overlooking the lagoon, going out on a beach. Totally RPing this, but I love it. I mean, this is still Minecraft and it's so awesome what people can do. Sweet little dining table design. How you make those item frames? You know what? I mean, it's item frame with a map inside or something. This one is broken. Who touch? You no touch. Why you touch? Somebody broke it, alright? Or maybe not. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. Don't mind me. It's maybe supposed to be like that. I don't know. But how do you make them? I mean, I know it's an item frame, as you can see here, with a map inside. But how do you make that map being all gray? It's nice. Or maybe you just make a little... I, oh yeah, that is what you do, right? You make a little big, big area with just gray, and then you take your map out, and it's gray. Yeah, it's gotta be that. And this, by the way, I've never thought in my life doing doing stairs using snow caps. But look how amazing it looks, and look, it works. No jumpy jumpy. I like you. And question is, as you can see, he kind of used like uh, anvils as as room dividers. So question is if you can kind of slide this wall back and forth. It might be a TV on the wall though, which kind of like, oh no. So we got a sitting room here, with a TV there. We got a kitchen design over here, a little fridge, nice looking sink area. The little thing here with you, with you like, you know, stove. And that little suction thing. I, you know what, I still don't know the name. Every single video I pointed out, you guys are like, okay, it's called like that, Corrales. Okay, I read it. But then I forget. Such a derp, by the way. What do we got here? Oh, the storage area. Storage area with skulls. No, this is for the kitchen, right? So we got a little extra refrigerator with a freezer, maybe. And some just some storing shelves here. And this is what I like. I like that little window function in every room. And also, guys, thank you so, so much for the support on the Inspiration series. It makes me so freaking happy that you guys enjoy this and get some inspiration out of this. You know what? Honestly, it does. Every single time I, I release an episode of the Inspiration series, you guys nail it every single time. So many cool comments, and it just makes me happy to read. But here we got an indoor swimming pool with a little secret room over here. What is your home? You are a pool pump. Totally, totally RPing this. I mean, this is just fantastic. Just, it's those small things in life, guys. Just add some some things and it just becomes amazing. Do we get something going here as well? No, there's a window. How do we get out? Is that... Holy shit. It's a beautiful corridor. Oh, this is the, this is the, the, the thing facing the front, right? And look how amazing this is, by the way. We don't have a single window going that direction. So it's still, we still got light from this direction and from the ceiling here. But this is kind of like totally private. We got so much privacy in this. I like you very much. Office area. <laughs> the cool looking shelving unit. Look at this. How you make you make world edit. That's so awesome. And then we got a little exit here to the little beach area, some seating groups, some little uh, towels here on the ground. And holy shit. I'm sorry, I say shit. But this is inspiration. I know it's world related, guys, alright? So we got a little cool looking staircase going up. So it's not possible. You can use quartz maybe or some other type of slabs and stuff. You can build maybe the same thing. But I love how it kind of flows and doesn't really touch the, the ground on every single pillar. It kind of hangs from the, from, the, from the upstairs building up here. That is so much inspiration. That's kind of like a nerdgasm right there, everybody. Yes. That is a nice looking feature. I like that. Let's continue. All right. So here we got what? A bedroom. Oh, looking at the ocean. Shelving unit, for example, why not? Here you can put some clothes, here you can have like those little drawer things. And this is window penises with stained glass and it looks like that. And some signs. Oh boy, it's amazing. And I'm kind of like an ensuite bathroom. Oh yeah, it is sliding doors, look at this. So this is kind of like a sliding door for this area, which is the master bedroom, I guess, on the downstairs. Maybe that is just a bedroom, alright, with an ensuite bathroom. 
reinforced shower. See how private it is? Nobody can see you. Well, if you really try, people can see you from the from outside, I guess. But poopy chair, bathtub, cool looking divider in between, some carpet designs. It is so nice. But everybody, I don't want to bore you to death, so let's head upstairs and check out the upstairs and how you look, you look upstairs. I like this corridor a lot, everybody. Absolutely beautiful. Up here, we got a fantastic looking fireplace, by the way. Bathroom. Just look how cozy those bathrooms look like. Screenshot moment, inspiration, everybody. Those humongous rainforest showers. I kind of love how we can devise the, the, the poopy chair over here with the bathtub. We're just using a simple wall like that. And then we got a little exit to the balcony overlooking the ocean. This area has got so many cool houses, guys. So do come on and check it out. Please, you're gonna be so happy. Then, this might be the master bedroom because this place is humongous. Walking wardrobe back here, I guess, right? Oh yeah, look at the shelving units here. Yep, so this is the kind of walking world for the, for the master bedroom. Do we got an ensuite bathroom though? Because that is the exit. There is an exit to the thingy, right? We could still have stuff in here as well if you wanted to do that. But that staircase design. It is to die for. So where is the bathroom? You know what? Maybe this is kind of like a floor. Maybe this whole upstairs is kind of like a bedroom feature. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but it looks so amazing. I do say amazing a lot, and I'm kind of semi sorry about that, but I like this house. This is so beautiful. It's so clean and so nice, and hello, your neighbor house. You look pretty smexy as well. Look at that A-frame over there. Everybody, I don't want to bore you to death. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys got some inspiration. That is the, from the from the central heating uh, chimneys, I guess, right? And that is from from the fireplace. Oh yeah, baby, it's hot, hot in here. But at least you gotta get the fire out. Kind of, kind of, kind of sucks if because if it's gonna rain though. But it doesn't really matter because it never rains on the World of Kerala's server. I, those shapes, those shapes. It's all in the shapes. It's all in the shapes. And like, look at like, I mean, he's got a little water feature all the way around the house and then he's got a little waterfall going down here into the ocean everybody i'm sorry i'm just derping about thank you so so much for watching don't forget to comment like and favorite if you do enjoy this and if you get some inspiration where did you get it staircase bedroom where leave some nice feedback from yes in the comment section and i will see you in the next one thank you and bye bye